Hey everyone, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you another new feature that's been added to Blender 3.0. This one is called the Curve Endpoints node, and was coded by Angus Stanton. This node takes a curve object, and then outputs its endpoints as points that you can instance geometry on. Here I have a curve line object that's rigged up to two empties. And I'd like to put this sphere at both ends. So I'll add a Curve Endpoints node, and plug in my curve line. Since this outputs both the start and end points, I'm going to add a point instance node, and then point this at my sphere. I'll hook it up to the start points, and then output this to my geometry. So now I have a sphere instanced at the start point of my line. Of course I could change this to the end point. Since points are geometry, I can use a join geometry node to get both. Finally, I want to reconnect my tube between these two spheres. So I'll add another join geometry on the other side of my point instance. And I'll connect in my curve to mesh that was creating my tube. And there we have it. Now because this line only has two points, this particular example could be done in another way. So let's show how this works with a more complex object. I'm going to replace my curve line with a curve spiral. I'll attach this to my curve to mesh, and then also attach it to my curve endpoints. So now as you see, even though this spiral has a resolution of 32, it's only instancing the spheres at the endpoints. So while this node might not be used in every geometry node tree, I think in those instances where you need it, it's going to be invaluable. So I hope this inspires you to make something awesome, and I hope you're enjoying the channel. If you are, make sure to hit subscribe and keep on the lookout for more new features coming to Blender 3.0 all the time. It's going to be a great release. So until next time, I'll catch you later.